Oh, dude, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's the Yorkshire Blazeman, and today I've got another bayonet video for you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Romanian Type 1 AKM bayonet. Um, if you know my channel, you know I've got an uh, extensive collection of bayonets, AK1s, and all those whatnots. And finally, um, picked up an, a, a Romanian bayonet, but this one's quite um, interesting. It's quite uh, a unique uh, Romanian bayonet, but let's get into that anyway. So, Romanian AKM bayonet, they're all pretty much the same AK bayonet, AKM bayonets, the type ones, type twos. The only different things are like how they look and the styles. Different countries have different um, ones, different color schemes. So this is a Romanian type one. Here we have, well, this is a Russian type one transitional. So Russians had a, like a light brown, baker light handle, Romanians have got a dark, uh, color here we have a east german akm bayonet uh, type one transitional and they have a, a black um polymer handle so they are in different variants some came with different color frogs so uh, sorry frogs uh, a little bit insulator so hungarian ones are like a yellowy color then you've got the black on polish you know there's many different types um well different countries have different um Colours and stuff like that, but they're all basically the same thing at the end of the day. So, this is a Romanian Type 1 AKM bayonet. It was a knife bayonet used for the 7.62 um, pistol Militaria model 1963 PMMD63 assault rifle, which is a variant of the Kalashnikov AKM. So, different communist countries during this time could um, have their own sort of arsenal. So, like the Czech VZ58. Uh, assault rifle, but it is uh, an off cut of the um, Russian Kalashnikov, and so the Romanians made their own version of um, uh, the, the classic Russian Kalashnikov. So, um, Romanian bayonets were manufactured with a dark, like a, a maroon polymer handle, or in some rare examples, a dark yellow one. They all come in a black scabbard with a um, Early ones have a, a leather frog which wraps around the insulator, but later models um, from like the 1970s, they come with this Russian type of frog, the standard AK um, frog seen on this uh, East German example. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of this standard um, AK frog. I find it really tacky and loose. But the Romanian ones, when they first made them, had a very secure leather scabbard, so it, well, frog, so it wrap around your insulator, and it's a sturdy piece of thick leather, so you wouldn't have this rattling, and it was secured to your belt, uh, instead of dangling like the standard uh, Russian issue one. Um, what, what, what more can you say? It's just, just the same thing. Romanian ones, they weren't that different. Um, the frog sometimes was leather, um, or they had, as I said, a nylon version of the wraparound one. But then later on, during the 19, early 70s and late 60s, they went to this Russian example, which is uncommon. So, without further ado, let's just get into how this one looks. So, just a dark leather scabbard, a frog, sorry. We've got a, a leather retention strap, a grey um, infrared insulator. If you don't know what that's for, basically it means you can cut electrified wire because if, you if you're not known, never seen an AK bayonet, the tight one, or the, the, well, the Russians were the first people to integrate a wire cutter onto a bayonet scabbard. So you, this little hole in the blade goes to there like so, and then you have a wire cutter. And it introduces rubber insulator so you can cut electrified wire. So the plastic handle and the rubber insulator will protect you um, from the electric current. Uh, later on, they would go to, in the Type 2 um, AKM variant, they would go for a Bakelite scabbard, so you, you get rid of that rubber insulator altogether. We have the standard classic serrations. All AK bayonets came with serrations, apart from Polish models. They excluded it, and the Chinese um, bayonet. They were made for the, uh, for the public, though, so they can't be attached to the rifle. We still got the classic um, swidge blade, swept up clip point type style. Unfortunately, my example, my press release doesn't really it'll push in, but it didn't really spring out. Um, 
the dark maroon handle. Um, Romanian uh, bayonets, they had the issue serial number electro penciled onto the guard there and onto the scabbard like so. They don't come with any other markings. This is quite a nice example. We do have a, bit, a few dents on there. It came with a bit of rust underneath the rubber insulator, so that's common. I've got to pick this up for around about um, for, for, for £60 on Bayonet, uh, Bayonets and Bullets website. Check them out. It's, it's, um, they come from Ireland and it ships all across the world. And, you know, I can't complain. Good service and everything. But it's just a nice to have another example into the collection. There's not much you can really say about these because they're all the same. Oh, AK Bayonets, as I said, they just come in different formats and different colours and patterns due to the countries. I can go with some specs. The overall blade length is 5.8 inches, which is 15 centimetres. The overall length is um, 11 inches or 28 centimetres. And the muzzle ring diameter is 6.95 inches or 1.7 centimetres. One thing I would like to point out is on an old video, on another AK bayonet I posted, I said it was, um, it's an excellent fighting knife, this, you know, it's a knife bayonet, so you can use it. This was a, a practical three in one bayonet, fighting knife, and grafting knife, to be all your tasks all put into one. Um, when mounted on the rifle, the blade faces up, sort of like similar to a Czech VZ24 Mauser bayonet. Most bayonets you find have the muzzle ring facing up and the blade facing down. AK Bennett's, they don't do that. And someone said to me, how would it make a good fighting that slashing weapon if the blade faces away from you? Well, if you've got the bayonet in your hand, you can slash with it fine. You can stab with it fine. When it's mounted onto the rifle, it's just purely for stabbing. So I wanted to get that clear up. You cannot slash with it on the rifle. You can only slash with it in your hand, which is not why you want to slash a bayonet on attached to a rifle anyway. It's a purely a stabbing object. So yeah. And that was just a quick little um, overview of a Romanian AKM bayonet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'd be a I would much appreciate that. If you're going to be more interested in that, subscribe to the channel. That will really help me grow. I've been your host, the Yorkshire Bladesman, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.